everyone. Welcome to SNL's YouTube channel. Today, we will be discussing how machine learning can be used to predict the rate of penetration that a well can be drilled. The rate of penetration is the speed at which a drill bit breaks the rock under it to deepen the borehole. We will be measuring it in meters per day. Let's take a look at a scenario. A drilling engineer aims to determine the best drilling operating parameters such as the RPM, drilling flow rate, drilling fluid characteristics, and more by using historical information. To make the prediction, a machine learning model must be trained. Once the model is trained, it will be able to detect the patterns and trends in the data. Let's look at the data that we will be using to train our model. Our file includes the following features. The well names, hole sizes or diameters that will be drilled for each well section, the depths of each section, median flow rate. This is the rate at which mud containing drill cuttings are transported to the surface per well section. Mud is used to fill in the hole as it is being drilled. The mud helps prevent the collapse of the hole as it is drilled and also helps transport the bits of broken up rock or drill cuttings that are created as the hole deepens. Median revolutions per minute of the drill for each well section. Median mud density per well section. The next few features are mud properties such as oil percent, viscosity, density, solid percent, temperature, water percentage, filtration. This is the ability of the drilling fluid to limit deposition of mud solids on the whole walls, sand percentage, and our target column, which is the rate of penetration. Now that we have framed the problem and have examined the data, I will cover the five steps required in a machine learning experiment to be able to make predictions. We will be using the SAS product SML, which stands for Speedwise Machine Learning, to demonstrate the five-step workflow. The first step is to upload the file with the prepared data. After uploading the file, we will start the machine learning experiment. The second step is to select the target column that we would like to make a prediction for. Now I can move on to the third step, which is the data pre-processing. Data pre-processing is an integral step in machine learning which may impact the quality of the model to learn. SML offers over 20 pre-processing steps with tutorials for each step. I use SML because it automatically applies the pre-processing steps for me. Now I am ready to move to the fourth step, which is to train the model. Similarly, I will use the autopilot mode to train the model. However, there is a manual option for more advanced users. Great, now my model is trained and I am ready for the last part of the experiment, which allows me to access the model and make predictions on the playground page. The first plot that I will look at is the feature dependency plot. In this plot, you can see which features in your dataset have the highest impact on the model for the predicted column. For example, you can see the hole size and depth have the highest impact. The next plot is the partial dependence plot. This analysis is another helpful plot in seeing the relationship and trends between features and the target column. This plot shows the isolated impact of revolutions per minute, shown on the x-axis, on rate of penetration, shown on the y-axis. One way to interpret this plot is, if all other factors are normalized, RPM of 100 is a good number to choose to maximize ROP. In other words, choosing revolutions per minute greater or less than 100 yields suboptimal rates of penetration. Finally, I'd like to use SML's prediction card to make predictions on new rows of data. I am going to upload the file and now I can see the rate of penetration prediction values SML has come up with for each well. Another way I can make predictions on this tool is by manually editing fields. I am going to go ahead and change the revolutions per minute value to 120, and now I can click predict to see what the new prediction value will be. I hope this use case was helpful. If you would like to see other use cases for how machine learning can be used to solve different problems, please subscribe to our channel and leave a comment with what you would like us to solve next.